Hello and welcome friends. Today we will be discussing about the external linkage and internal linkage. So this is my first YouTube video. I thought of starting with this because it has all the aspects of a compilation process including translation unit, linker, compiler and the the relationship between the translation unit and the linker so today we'll be covering the translation unit the scope linkage includes internal linkage and external linkage so what is scope so a scope is nothing but a visibility of an identifier so where the variable will be accessed it tells about the accessibility area of a variable of a variable so suppose two identifiers are there one is a another one is b so a is a local variable and b is a global variable so what is local variable you know, like this local variable and global variable this is nothing but a but a scope so a will be having local scope that means it can be accessed through the, throughout the block not the, not outside the block that means uh, the scope of the variable a is local to the particular function and if b is a global variable then b e, any function can access b variable so this local and global these are nothing but scope so a scope is nothing but a visibility of a particular variable or a function so where the variable can be accessed now the translation unit so what is translation unit it nothing but a file which contain all the information of a particular source code along with its dependencies so for example there is a source code source code source c file a.c it has many header files that include stdio.h then some other header files also so the translation unit will be having a list of all the information where the functions like for example suppose you are including stdio.h it has printf we are using printf so printf is taken from stdio.h that means the symbol contains in printf are present in stdio.h this information also will be part of translation unit now where the translated translation unit present during the compilation process so in the compilation compilation process first topic is what first topic is the source code the text file this text file at the end will be from this text file at the end executable will be created so in this process where translation in it present so source code so it, here it, it is the final input to the compiler to produce the object file after preprocessing so first thing is pre-processing of that source code after pre-processing <laughs> the all the header files all the dependent information along with the text code along with all the dependent information along with the test code produce one translation unit so that means after preprocessing so the text code will be converted to the translation unit 
then this translation init will be the input the only input to the compiler so compiler converts this translation init into an object file so translation init basically converts a source code into object file through compiler so it is the input to the compiler compiler understands only the translation unit so source code needs to be modified in a way translated in a way so that compiler can recognize it so translation unit does this operation now the linkage so as i told you that scope is is a property handled by the compiler but linkage is a property handled by linker so after compilation link are present which links all the object file together and create and produce executable so linker what it takes it takes all the object file resolves its symbol and creates executable so how it does so from the object file it takes like the linker decides which particular symbol can be accessed from another object file that means there is a, like there are there can be many symbols but among them few symbols can be accessed from other files few symbols cannot be so linker decides that so now we will discuss about the internal linkage internal linkage means the particular identifier can be accessed within the translation unit that means other translation unit cannot access this particular identifier so if other translation unit that that does that mean that it cannot be accessed from other translation translation unit? no it can be accessed but the through uh, including the particular like header file or the particular translation unit you can you, you can access those, those particular identifier but the memory will be present in the particular translation unit only that means you you have to access from that translation unit only the scope and accessibility of the variable is in the same translation unit so that means it cannot be access scope and accessibility that means it cannot be accessed from other translation unit will not be accessed in different translation unit but you can use the particular identifier through by using the other translation unit an external identifier implementing external linkage is visible to every translation unit so that means it will be shared throughout all the object all the translation unit so it's a label up identifier so it will be the all outmost level of the program it will present when you use keyword extern you just tell the company to check the link about the identity definition so now i'll explain the same concept through code so this is the code see here i'll explain shortly static keyword is used for this is used for internal static is used for internal linkage how See, this is a variable tiger and this tiger count is print the number of tiger which we are initializing it can be accessed from the main function 
so if we run that particular program build a success yet it is telling the output is tiger is 10 tiger is the same particular same variable is is present throughout the program so see this particular variable will be having access through through this file only so whenever you are using that variable you have to include and you have you cannot like you cannot reuse that variable like for example if you like there will be single instance of that particular variable so like if I do trigger equal to 8 and then run build will be failed because already one non static variable okay if you do static also so build will be failed because of the redefinition so you are accessing the same variable but so that means you are you are accessing the same variable so whenever you are using that variable you have to initialize it otherwise you cannot use it it, it, it is initialized only because tiger static means it will be initialized to zero that means you, you have to define declare and define it when you are define a variable it will be occupying the memory but the memory where that memory present it will be part of the same translation unit that means it will be part of the same object file when like in, it will be part of the same translation in the same memory so in the same address space basically but in case of external like in case of external linkage this external keyword is used external is used for external linkage so even though the variable is not defined external meaning the variable is declared but memory is not created so the variable memory will be created will be allocated when it will be defined so see here it is declared here but it can be defined here also so here you define here you are allocating mem memory here see the variable present in different file different translation unit but it can be accessed and it can the memory can be allocated here so the external linkage the benefit is it is just telling the compiler that this identifier is present here name is this but memory can be allocated by different translation unit can be allocated in this same translation unit also or can be defined in different translation unit also so here we are defining animal in different translation unit but see here you are calling animal count which is present in external dot it will reflect it the linker will work together and produce the same result so here we are initializing it but printing here that means same variable only identifier memory is allocated in main.c so the, the idea here is external linkage linker performs under and takes the identifier so whenever the compiler encounter any like external it understood that the variable is the identifier is there it's linker responsibility to to create create link between this variable like to allocate memory of this variable and it can be defined elsewhere also so the external linkage the externally the memory can be allocated the linker will take care about the memory allocations linker will connect 
the identifier and the definition of that particular uh, identifier by internal linkage its compiler responsibility and the scope of the in, um, particular identifier its compiler response or its compiler responsibility to make it part of the address space and the accessibility of the variable will be in the same translation unit it cannot be accessed other elsewhere so you can use it but accessibility will be in the same translation unit hope you understand this concept you liked my first video please provide your feedback I'm closing my video thank you so much thank you for watching it